Okay, guys and gals, I previously did a video on how to bend an aluminum H channel. I got a couple comments on the lighting in there. It was kind of hard to see, so hopefully I can clarify this for you. And maybe you could turn up the brightness on your device, that might help. But here I'll show you how I went about doing that, and hopefully between the two of them, I'm going to connect the two videos together, and hopefully between the two of them, you'll be able to bend your own H channel. So what I like to do, these are dimensions I like to work with, is 7 eighths, 2 and 7 eighths, 3 and 7 eighths, 4 and a half, now, depending on the thickness of your material, you could make that five and a half if you want, and you'd have like an inch and a half or an inch and five eighths throat for your material to go into. I don't know what you'd be working with that would be that wide, but. And then six and a half. And then your cut mark is 10 and a half. And that's where you're gonna cut. Okay, so you can make your piece 10 feet long or however long your break will allow for. And there's a sequence to these bends and a very specific way you need to do these. Your first one's gonna be your seven eighths, your first bend. Your second bend is gonna be your three and seven eighths. Your third bend is gonna be your two and seven eighths. Fourth is your four and a half or say if you want a three quarter inch throat, you can go to four and five eighths. And then your fifth bend and final bend is gonna be your six and a half. Okay, so first thing you do is place the thing, put, place the metal in your brake so all your marks are facing up. You're gonna clamp it on that seven eighths mark and you're gonna bend, you're gonna clamp it there on your seven eighths. You can bend that 180 degrees around and you'll see in my video how I go about making that hem nice and tight too. So that's a hem, it's 180 degrees. After you're done bending it, it'll look like that. Okay, so now what you're gonna have to do is you're moving on to your third mark, which is the second bend, the three and seven eighths. You're gonna have to transfer that mark to the other side of the metal. And then you have to flip the piece around so that the hem is down and you clamp it on your three and seven eighths mark and you bend it up to a 90. So the piece will look like this inside the break with your hem up. Now you spin the piece 90 degrees, you just spin it so that it's in the break like this. And you're going to clamp your two and seven eighths mark and you bend that around at 180 degrees and that's another hem. So after you're done the piece will look like this. Now again you're going to spin the piece so that the hem is down so it'll be in your break like this. And like I say in the video you can flex this little bit out to get your five eighths that the brake usually only allows for three quarters but because you can flex this a little bit you can actually get it to a five eighths pocket which works really nice for a half inch material if the thickness of your material is a half inch that's going inside that pocket so you clamp it there at your four and a half inch mark and you bend it up to a 90. So inside your brake, the piece will look like this. Okay. Now you have to flip your piece again and put it in the brake upside down. So it'll be like this inside the brake. Okay. And you're clamping it here at your six and a half inch mark 
and you're bending that all the way around 180 degrees. So after you're done, your piece will look like this. It's not too exact proportions, obviously, but you should have an inch to nail to here. You'll have an inch to nail to here. This is your face. And you'll have a half inch pocket inside there to put your siding or your soffit. Okay, so hopefully that clears some things up. And you can go ahead and watch the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I am still replying to pretty much all the comments that are made. Um, and I'm here to help, so. Okay, it's been about, it's been about uh, probably eight years or 10 years since I did this. Where I'm gonna attempt to bend a an H No, because it uses more metal. So the piece, the bend goes like that. And it looks a lot nicer. It just looks like this when you're done. I don't know if you can see that, probably. But the bends are like that, and it comes back over. There's a certain order you need to do these in, too. And these are the dimensions I like to use. You could change them. I like to go 7 eighths here. That's just one here. And then I'll go two and seven eighths. That's the exposed one. And then I'm coming back an inch to get to the middle. That's three and seven eighths. Now this one is a five eighths bend because the soffit goes inside there. And then I need to be more than an inch. I want to be about an inch and a half at least going that way so that this back the back leg is longer than the front so I can nail it so we have six inches I'll go and then it needs to come all the way back the other way it's about nine inches so you can get by with a nine inch piece to do this and it'll all start making sense when I start bending it So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Seven eighths. That's our hem. Two and seven eighths. And that's the face of it. And it's coming back over that way an inch. So that's the middle of that. And then we have our five eighths again. And I can actually bend a 5 eighths bend and you'll see why. So four and a half, now we need an inch and a half, and then nine. I'm gonna circle there because that's where I wanna cut it. That's an inch and a half back. And then I'll wait for, wait for Roger Dodger to be done with what he's doing there. I can show you guys how I go about bending this thing. It's a pretty tricky little bend. It's kind of neat when you kind of neat when you get the hang of it, though. Get, get rid of this stuff. Add some electrical tape to hold the thing together. All right. This is our H bend. There, right there. <laughs> I got derailed. Your train of thought. <laughs> got yeah, that's fine though. That's all hidden. Okay, so the first bend we want to do is our 7 8 bend, and this one's the hem. So we have a clean edge. I could just leave a straight edge there and not do this hem. It looks a lot nicer. So it goes all the way around. Again, it's been probably 10 years since I've done this. 
so hopefully I remember. And right there I was just pulling that out so that I can get a, a tighter band right there. Okay, now this one gets folded all the way around. What I have to do is I have to transfer this mark here to the back side. It's the third mark. You have to transfer over. I could remeasure it, but I don't feel like it. So I can actually just side it over. And what I'm gonna do is this one here gets bent up first, I believe. I'm taking a chance on this. Yeah, because otherwise you don't you can't get the brake on it. Let's see if I screw it up. This could be interesting. So this one gets a 90. And then now flip it over and this one gets bent all the way around. So I had to do that one first. Otherwise, like I said, I wouldn't be able to get the brake on it. Same thing here, we're bending that tight. See, I like, I like to go seven eighths with this hem, the first hem, so it doesn't hit right there. Oh yeah. And hold that down. Yeah, it looks uniform with the other side then. So now I think the rest of this I can just bend at will. And like I was saying, I can actually get this a little tighter because this bends in. So I can actually get a 5 eighths. I'm gonna twist it in there a little bit and I'll let this, the pressure of this thing, the pressure, uh, the, the grippiness of the rubber will actually flex this thing and give me a tighter band inside there. It typically, typically you can only get a three quarter band with the brake, but on this, because of the way that it works, you're able to get it a lot tighter. Bend it around and we'll go to our inch and a half mark all the way around. And there we have it. It's been 10 years and I still got it. <laughs> all right. So now soffit can go in. This is the face. So I, I went a little bit. If you length that 45. Maybe a little bit overzealous right there. It's a little line. But yeah, you just put that in the corner and then soffit goes inside there and inside there. And underneath, you see that? Nice. If that's what you were asking. Yeah. Yep, so I gotta bend one more. Well, I mean, the J, like it's I said, look too. it is a nicer look. You don't have that line in the middle and you don't potentially have it opening up if you do a double J like I like to, but mm -hmm. if you do it clean, you can use the scraps. You don't have to use a wider section of metal. You save them a couple bucks on metal. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's that.